Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of Inside Ascension. I'm John Connolly, manager of video programming for Ascension 21. We're going on location from the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, site of the 2012 Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival. And I'm Clint Falcon, video production specialist and producer for Ascension 21. And during this episode, we're focusing all of our attention on the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, a facility like no other on the Gulf Coast. And John, where else but the Lamar Dixon Expo Center could you have an event of this magnitude with this many people and, and, and this much fun? Clint, look at this crowd. Mm -hmm. Look at the people coming out and supporting this event. Mm -hmm. For three days in September, hot air balloons filled the skies over Gonzales and the grounds at Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Ascension Parish should be very proud oh, of yeah. the way they came out and supported this event. All right. Came out in great numbers, which bodes well for hosting more events like this in the future. Stay tuned now, though, because I'll have a complete report on this event that you won't want to miss. And I'll take an in-depth look at this facility that is the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, its history, its potential as a host site for all types of events, and the impact it's going to have on the local economy, which benefits us, the residents of Ascension Parish. We'll have these stories and much more as we showcase the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, along with the Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival, right now, Inside Ascension. Hurricane Isaac was a slow-moving Category 1 storm that stalled on top of southeast Louisiana in late August, dumping water on Ascension Parish for days, inundating the bayous and drainage canals and pushing the pumps at the Marvin Bro pumping station to the limit. These pictures show just how high the water rose on the downstream side of the pumps and just how close we were to overtopping the facility there. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center played a crucial role in advance of the storm as a massive sandbagging effort was underway there as inmates helped residents protect their homes from flooding. Power crews also staged on-site at the Expo Center to respond to outages before Isaac finally crept northward and out of our area. After the storm, the Federal Emergency Management Agency set up headquarters at Lamar Dixon, housing their Disaster Recovery Center and Supplemental Nutrition Assistance programs there. Lamar Dixon is also being used as a drop-off point by debris removal crews and residents with vegetative debris to dispose of in the cleanup following Hurricane Isaac. Okay. Repairs to the damaged locks at Frog Bayou are underway and should be completed soon. Alligator Bayou Road remains closed as crews work to install the channel and replace the locks, which help control flooding in the Bluff Swamp Basin. The stru uh, control structure is functioning, it's draining good, it's operating uh, uh, like it should and we have no problem with it, it's just a matter of the, the, the cleanup and the details and the, uh, the, the, fin the finish work, finish grading and, um, and, and putting together the, uh, the, the finishing touches on the control structure Make itself. Make it look pretty. Yeah. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center has a new neighbor just across the street on St. Landry Road. The Ascension Parish Sheriff's Department's new training center was recently opened and dedicated. The new $3.2 million center is where Ascension Parish Sheriff's deputies will receive training, but also the new facility is available for other agencies throughout the law enforcement community. The training center, combined with the existing shooting range out back, makes the entire facility one of the finest in the region. First way it benefits Ascension Parish, it helps put the best trained police officer we can put out on the road. You know, when a citizen calls for a police officer, they want a highly qualified, well-trained police officer, when they get there, they know how to handle themselves, they know what the laws are, they know what our policies are, and this center helps us do that. It puts us on the right road to putting that kind of uh, officer on the street to respond to our citizens' needs. Back on this side of St. Landry Road, you'll want to stay with us because right here was the place to be to get fired up for an up-close and up-in-the-air look at the Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival. We'll have that and much, much more from the Lamar Dixon Expo Center right after this. Oh, 
You realize that 49 million Americans struggle with hunger? That's one out of every six Americans. These people are around us every day. They're our friends, they're our coworkers, their kids go to school with our kids. Sometimes we're not even aware that they're struggling. This problem is closer than you think. But so is the solution. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. For balloon pilots and their crews, the day starts before dawn's first light. Ready? First light for pilots like Robert Ambo from Gonzales comes in the form of bursts of flame from propane burners to fill their balloons with hot air, making them lighter than air. You got that uh, crown line in there somewhere. John Good is another Ascension Parish pilot. He's from Prairieville. Both he and Ambo have been flying balloons for more than 20 years. This morning, they're preparing their balloons for takeoff along with a handful of other pilots. out in the grass on the fields at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, the pilots, their crews, and their giant hot air balloons are about to give the folks gathered here just a small taste of what's coming to all of Ascension Parish on a much larger scale during the 2012 Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival. A small taste because Good and Ambo are just two, two pilots of an eventual 40 who will spend an entire weekend on the grounds of Lamar Dixon and in the air high above ascension, entertaining onlookers, providing them with stories for a lifetime, competing against their peers, and amazing not only those on the ground, but also those fortunate to watch the earth drop from beneath their feet, to float through the air, suspended by an invisible thread for a view you can't get from anywhere else but up here at the 2012 Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival. The competition portion of the event starts each morning with briefings at the pilot's tent. Benjamin Drennan. Here. Bob Evans. Here. Hailing from nearly a dozen states as far away as Kansas and South Carolina, 40 pilots receive their task sheets from Prairieville pilot John Good, who also serves as balloon meister for this championship. The main field, the coordinates, A, on your task sheet. Does everybody have a task sheet? The task sheet includes a mission description with target coordinates, and the brain work begins. Immediately, pilots begin plotting possible launch sites on their maps. They also receive the most up-to-date weather information from WAFB Chief Meteorologist Jay Grimes. For those of you that aren't uh, familiar with Louisiana weather, and of course it still is summer from our standpoint, uh, uh, it's not uncommon for us to have coastal showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Now they'll die out and they'll stay to our south. They will not play into your flying whatsoever, no problem. From there, it's out to their vehicles and onto the road, constantly gathering more information to plan the morning's flight and hope Hopefully, take them over their targets. Put some pie balls up, yep. and we're going to determine where we're going to take off from. Near the target site, wind speeds are measured at different altitudes, so the pilots get an even better idea from where to launch. Going to the left. There's the right. Then it's back on the road to where they'll lift off. Here we go. Balloon pilots are a hospitable bunch. Besides welcoming themselves to sometimes unsuspecting residents at the crack of dawn, they sometimes also help each other out when they find a fellow competitor who needs help. You want to go help him right fast? Get him up? Yeah. When we arrived here, John Good and crew, instead of setting up their own balloon, first went to aid another pilot who was alone with no crew of his own. 
Is it common for one pilot to help out another pilot like that in a competition? Uh, yeah, if we ever, you know, we don't, we don't want anybody not to be able to fly, so we can help each other. Getting these giant craft airborne, even with a full crew, is quite an undertaking. But once they're vertical, it doesn't take long to ascend. In a matter of seconds, balloons, lots of balloons, lift up and break the horizon, dotting the skies over Ascension Parish. Dude. <laughs> you in it? Yeah, you're right. Deflating, coming down. Looking for a current at a different uh, mm -hmm. altitude. Mm -hmm. See, look at the top. The top, look at the balloon. Is that cool? That's awesome. Okay, well you're gonna stay right there and you're gonna be real still. I sure will. As we approach the target site, John really starts working it, getting as close as he can to score as many points as possible. I don't get it. Get up high. We missed the keys, but threw at both targets, hitting the red one in the center, then gained altitude for a glimpse at the next one. How are we looking, John? Third target, go ahead. What do you think? I think cool, I can huh? get used to this. Yeah, we kind of went up and down a little bit fast. Nationals, back in the uh, 90s. You'd never ballooned before? No, they was landing in my backyard. And you saw balloons going by? And they were landing in my yard. They were landing in your yard? Yeah, I'm right behind the fairground. And I you said, said, I could get in there. This is it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let me see, let me get in this target here. And get down left. Absolutely. Oh, there it is. Even during our conversation, Good was always working, getting as close as possible for a shot at more points on the last target of the flight. Showing the leg of the X about a foot off. Okay. Yes, sir. First available. First available. Good radios his crew for rendezvous. All that's left is landing. But first... Tell me how you think you did. Uh, I've got about fifth or sixth and they pay three on that one. 
But we got to the X. That's what I'm talking about. You know? Hey, he doesn't get any better than that. That's what I'm, you know. Got to the pole, came close to the pole, got through on one X good, another X halfway. It was a good flight. And everybody's safe. That's the main thing. I have to worry about everybody else getting down. I'm looking around and watching everybody, you know, making sure. Because if they, something happens to them, we got to get out there and help them. There's a lot of camaraderie among you. Yes, pilots, indeed. Huh? Yeah. But if somebody's hurt, we get out of the air and help somebody. I saw when we got to the takeoff spot, uh, instead of putting air in yours, you ran over to somebody else? Uh-huh. What's that all about? You help people, you know? I had, I had too many, he had none. You know? That's the way I think. A lot of people think that way. Some people do, some people don't. Coming down in this field. Yep. Right okay, bend your knees a little bit. Yep. Bend your knees, we're gonna float a little bit. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be just fine. Well done. Yeah, let's just keep it up. I'll call it a semi-soft landing in a field behind double S sandblasting and painting on Highway 74, much to the surprise of the employees there. Hey, all in a day's work, huh? Yeah. I mean, did, when y'all came to work this morning, did you have any idea? No. We had yeah. no idea. What do you think? I think this is uh, amazing. Yeah, bro. All them balloons. I am. Look at them suckers coming over there, bro. Ain't that pretty? What a birthday present. Make 48 years old get to see something like this. <laughs> <laughs> All in all, not a bad way to spend the morning. That's a look at the competitive side of the 2012 Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship. When we come back, we'll give you an inside ascension look at the festival portion from the grounds of the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Stay with us. GED diploma, the barriers in your life fall. Take the first step and get free GED information in your area at 1-877-38-YOUR-GED or yourged.org. Earn your GED diploma and begin your brighter future. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone. But you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community Get the resources you need and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. In a state known for its festivals, the people of Louisiana have no shortage from which to choose. And the festival portion of the 2012 Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship did not disappoint. Look at my mom. 
In fact, it amazed. With their appetites whetted from catching glimpses of balloons in Ascension skies and watching pilots aim for targets and prizes in competition, people of all ages came out in great numbers to the grounds at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center for an up-close experience with the balloons and their pilots. The event schedule included something for everyone. A children's village with a collection of inflatables and games so numerous it seemed endless. A music stage with bands hailing from New Orleans to Lafayette. Tethered balloon rides for those wanting a look from above the treetops and above the crowd. And spectacular balloon glows, the likes of which never before seen in Ascension Parish. There's no denying this festival was well attended, which bodes well for the Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival becoming Ascension's signature festival right here at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. It's been a tradition for the past nine years. This would have been the 10th year at the previous one, so it's our first you know, year now uh, for us taking it over and having a balloon festival. Uh, hopefully the first of many, huh? Yes, I do have plans to continue the balloon festival. Uh, as long as we can still, like any festival, just try to find funding and find a unique experience. And I think we have a unique experience as hot air balloons. And of course it helps when uh, people come out and enjoy it. Yes, it does help. Uh, we've gotten people out here from all over. You know, there was a group of Lafayette that came out, you know. I've heard New Orleans people's coming out. So we've getting them from all over, Baton Rouge. Nowhere else in Ascension Parish could a festival of this magnitude have been staged but at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. When we come back, Clint Falcon brings you inside the facilities and onto the grounds, the entire facility that is the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. You're watching a special edition of Inside Ascension on Ascension Channel 21. Please stay with us. and prepared foods promptly. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov.
The Lamar Dixon Expo Center has been a part of Ascension Parish for 10 years, and yet many here have yet to explore the grounds. Few residents in Ascension know that the facility is as available for them in the same way that it's available for large-scale events. Here now, I'll take you inside the Lamar Dixon Expo Center and share some insight on how you can utilize this unique venue for yourself. It's the dawn of a new day in Ascension Parish and a new day at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Considered by many as one of the crown jewels of Ascension Parish, the Lamar Dixon Expo Center is a state-of-the-art multi-use event facility and a resource for economic development. In South Louisiana, we're known for our hospitality, and the Lamar Dixon Expo Center is home to all of what that hospitality has to offer. Our food, our music, our festivals, and so much fun. A facility like no other along the Gulf Coast, the Lamar Dixon Expo Center is located in Gonzales off Highway 30 near Interstate 10. Spread across 250 acres on St. Landry Road, the facility is comprised of a number of buildings, arenas, pavilions, a fully equipped RV park, beautiful campgrounds, and wide open green space, each offering its own advantages for different events including gatherings, demonstrations, shows, and recreational activities. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center truly has something for everyone. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center is owned and operated by the Parish of Ascension. It was purchased in 2009 by the parish through the use of grants and private donations without the use of local taxpayer dollars. I think this is a great opportunity for the youth of our parish and the future of our parish. It's important to have a better quality of life for our people and our children and, and that's what this, this place should ultimately be about. It should be a positive for the parish, it should be something that we can all hang our hats on and we can all be proud of. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center has roots as deep as the mighty oaks which grace its landscape. Mary Lee and Bill Dixon had a vision. The Dixons dreamed of creating a place in Ascension Parish for equestrian events and 4-H activities, as well as a multi-purpose events venue that could support charitable organizations and community development. So they built it over the years how the people have come. Since 1999 the Lamar Dixon Expo Center has been hosting events in style while being an economic asset to Ascension Parish. Gun and knife shows, public sales, equestrian shows, home and garden shows, conferences, arts and craft shows, rodeos, RV car and monster truck shows, science fairs, weddings and receptions, company picnics, industrial trade shows, the circus, high school graduations, banquets, antique shows, dog and cat shows, Boy Scout camping, LSU and 4-H club livestock shows have all been held at the Expo Center. In 2011 alone, the Expo Center has hosted 240 events, attracting 166,000 visitors. From locals to our regional neighbors, to Hollywood actors like Johnny Knoxville and Sean William Scott, along with recording stars like Jessica Simpson and Trace Atkins, they've all visited the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. The reason people come is simple. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center has something for everyone. With a focus on equestrian events, the Robbie G. Savoy Jr. Arena has hosted a variety of entertainment fun for the whole family. With seating for 3,500, two concession stands, and 36,000 square feet, the Robbie G. Savoy Jr. Arena draws big events from all over the nation here to Ascension Parish. Another popular venue is the Trademark Building, an enclosed 24,000 square foot air conditioned facility it can host crawfish boils, large wedding receptions, banquets, trade shows, company picnics, 
dances, conventions, and fundraisers like the Dreams Come True event. Before we came here, we were at another location which was smaller and I mean we were raising like maybe a couple of hundreds and now that we've brought it to this building, Lamar Dixon trademark building, it's air conditioned, it's nice. They allow us to set it up with the tables and chairs and decorate as we as we do and it's beautiful. So we have brought in we have over like 1,200 people now. It, because of the location, the parking is awesome. There's no trouble parking. It's air conditioned, it's very comfortable. Everybody has so much fun and we get compliments every year. And we have regulars that have been coming for years. They love the location. It, it's just, it just fits our fundraiser. We, wouldn't, we would not leave Lamar Dixon. Another event that has made a big splash here in Ascension Parish is Repticon, a reptile trade show. Repticon is a reoccurring event in Ascension Parish thanks to the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Like most of the big events that come to Ascension Parish, Repticon brings with it a nice boost to the local economy. So one of the things we really like about this, we've been able to draw a lot of people here, um, even though it's not exactly in the center of an urban area, it's kind of on the edge. They know where this place is, they come to it. And one of the things that's exciting about this facility is this show has been growing. This is the fifth time we've done it here. Uh, we're going to be able to, when the show gets big enough, expand and almost double the floor space here. So that's something that we're excited about. Hopefully in another show or two will be able to do that. For something a little more refined, the banquet room offers a formal atmosphere with a stunning view of the main arena and offers the perfect setting for conferences, wedding receptions, and banquets. For couples looking to grow roots of their own in Ascension Parish, a chapel is available for weddings and unions. Built in beautiful Acadian style with seating for up to 200 people and dressing rooms for the bride and groom, this chapel has everything necessary to make the occasion special. The Lamar Dixon Expo Center is available for public use, including specialty areas like the gym, the 4-H building, which is perfect for agricultural shows, the barns, and 300 fully equipped RV connections and 1,000 lit parking spaces. Beyond the buildings are another resource. Of the 250 acres on which the Expo Center lies, 147 are undeveloped. The green space and sprawling grounds are destined to become the next great feature of the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Plans call for ball fields for athletic competition and outdoor activities of all kinds. Imagine multi-team regional and national tournaments, an archery range, club and league play, and a wilderness area for camping. Improvements to the lake are already taking shape. So if your future plans have you organizing an event or just attending one. Whether it's inside or out, large or small, why not have it where all the food, fun, and music are always happening? The hospitality we're known for here in South Louisiana can be found at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center, right here in Ascension Parish. It really is something for everyone. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. Text me back. Hey, did you tell your parents about us? Let's skip first period together. Did you get all my texts? Is practice over yet? Where are you at? Are you with your friends? That's L-A-A-A-A-M-M-E-E. -E. Capital X, lowercase o, capital X, lowercase o. I love you, JK. I hate you. JK. Are you ignoring me? We're in a huge fight right now. Is this something I did? I can see your lights on. I'm coming this over. Isn't a What'd joke. you dream about? Did me? I'm lonely. lonely. Holla back. Holla back. Let's try something new. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. I don't need 
Hey, thanks for joining us for this special edition of Inside Ascension from the Lamar Dixon Expo Center and the Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival. We hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can always reach us at InsideAscension at APGov.us. We appreciate you watching, but before we leave you, we'd like to close the show with some musical lanyard from the Balloon Championships. You may have seen Gail Holiday in the Honky Talk Review in the past performing at Jazz Fest in New Orleans or Gretna Fest or the French Quarter Fest. Well, now they've played Balloon Fest. From their performance on the musical stage at the Louisiana Hot Air Balloon Championship Festival, here's Gail Holiday in the Honky Talk Review. For John Conley, I'm Clint Falcon. Thank you for joining us at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Until next time, please keep watching Ascension 21. Oh